Jersey Governor Chris Christie talked with Hoosiers this afternoon. The Republican governor keynoted the Indiana Attorney General's 8th Annual Prescription Drug Abuse Symposium. 24-hour news aide Julian Grace talked with Christie about opioids and the charges against Paul Manafort. Julian? Dave, I can tell you this conversation switched gears very quickly. In one moment, we're talking about how New Jersey is spending $200 million to battle opioids. And in the next breath, we're talking about charges against President Trump's former campaign chair. <laughs> a round of applause preceded his arrival on stage. Governor Chris Christie is a man who has just 78 days left in office. He was handpicked by President Trump to chair the National Commission on the Opioid Crisis. So thank you very much for coming. After his speech was done, we were ushered into a private room where we peppered him with questions. Mr. Manafort, did you commit a crime? And then the name Paul Manafort rose to the list. That's because the former campaign manager of President Donald Trump turned himself in today after learning he is facing federal charges for money laundry, tax evasion, and other charges as well. Christie told us he read the charges today. We have to also remember that these are allegations um, and that uh, in this country people are innocent until proven guilty. And uh, Mr. Manafort, um, Mr. Gates have the opportunity to put forward their defense. Uh, but, you know, it's never a good day when these kind of things, you know, happen. We then asked Christie if he was surprised that federal charges came down against Manafort. I don't think I was really expecting anything, but I can't say I'm surprised either. I mean, obviously it was pretty clear when they did a... Um, you know, a no-knock search warrant in July, you know, given our conduct as U.S. attorneys in the past, that's never a good sign, um, you know, if they're going to come in and guns drawn to, like, search your home. After Christie answered every question thrown his way, he left. And we then asked Congresswoman Susan Brooks for her thoughts on the charges. Bob Mueller and his team have been working, picked up the work that was being done. Um, I've not seen the indictment. He was able to on the plane to read the indictment, so I've not had the opportunity yet because I've been here in other places today to read the indictment. Um, as I understand it, you know, at this point we need to let justice run its course. Well, here's some more details we are learning. Christie left for New Jersey right after taking a series of questions. He says in a couple of days he must hand President Donald Trump a final report on the opioid crisis. Dave? Julian, thank you.